All right, first of all, if you're new to this charging, uh, this is an adapter that you can use on non-supercharger Tesla charging stations, so like ChargePoint and some others. So um, usually this comes with your vehicle, but you can get one uh, on Amazon or Tesla.com if they have them. So here is, if you're at home, you'll have a, a corded cable that should have been supplied, and it'll have different adapters on it, and it would plug into this normal home outlet, but that only gets you about three to five miles of range per hour of charging. And so that's what I was doing before, and I don't obviously didn't want to stick with that, so I went ahead and upgraded to this NEMA 1450 outlet, or had an electrician install it today, and what a vast difference it is. Now it's 25 to 30 miles of range per hour of charging so it's a, a great big difference there so i would highly recommend if you can get this done or install it yourself that uh, it's a big big jump up uh here's a, just a picture of a you know cable charging holder so if you want your uh you know charging cable to look nice and neat and have a place to store it rather than just on a hook in your garage or something uh, you can get something like that or you can upgrade to the tesla wall connector these are 500 dollars on tesla.com and you can uh, purchase them on Amazon as well. This one has a signature of Elon, from Elon on it, supposedly. Uh, and so that one's a little bit more expensive. But here's what I had done uh, today and how you can see how the difference is on the charging rate. All right, guys, so I finally upgraded from plugging into that plug, which is like a 15-volt outlet that was getting me three to five miles an hour of range, to this bigger one here, this NEMA 1450. 50. And so now I'm getting, I'll let you see, here's my little hanger upper. I just got a little hook here. There's a little, uh, there's aftermarket things you can buy. I'll put them in the link below where you can you know, kind of plug it in, make it look a little neater. But for my purposes, this works just fine. So we take it out here, lay it on the ground. Let's, let's hit our button here, open it up, plug it in. And now let's see what kind of charging we're getting here. Let's take a peek, see, oh yeah. Let's see, let it get going here. It's gonna go up from, yeah, like three to five miles per hour once it connects here correctly. Let's see how high it goes up to. Earlier it was telling me 26, 27. Yep, there we are, 28. So what a difference that makes. And there's actually an aftermarket one you can buy on Tesla's website that's supposed to be a little faster, even go up to like 40 maybe. 40 an hour, but from 3 to 25, 26, 27, 28, all the way up to supposedly 30 is totally worth it. So, you know, if you want to get this up upgrade, just either do it yourself if you're a do-it-yourselfer or get an electrician to do it for you, but it's, man, that right there, that's worth the difference right there. All right, guys, as always, please subscribe if you have any uh, questions, comment in the section below. All right, take care.